Hello guys, I'm Sushil and welcome back to Politics. In this tutorial, we'll be making this bouncing jelly using soft body simulation in Blender. So let's get started. Before I start this tutorial, I want to show you what does soft body mean. So let's delete everything on our viewport. Press A to select all and X to delete. And let's add a plane and scale it up. Now let's add a cube. Let's bring the, this cube up and rotate this cube. Now go to physics properties, add soft body to the cube and collision to the plane. Now select the cube and under soft body uncheck the goal and expand edges and check stiffness. Now when you press play our cube will act like a jelly. But this soft body has a downside and that is you can't use soft body on a spherical surface. Let's take this UV sphere for example and add a soft body. Though you enable stiffness, it will lose the geometrical property. To avoid that, we will add a round cube and to add an round cube we have to enable a add-on called add mesh extra object after enabling that add-on press shift a under mesh you will have the extra geometry and let's add a round cube after adding a round cube if you look at your bottom left corner you can see a pop-up expand that pop-up and set the operator preset as square sphere and set the subdivision to 11 now let's move this up and let's add soft body to this round cube and check stiffness and set the bending to 2 now bending makes the body stiffer and set the damp to 0. Uncheck the goal. If you do not uncheck the goal, the body will not fall down. So uncheck the goal. So once it collides, it will not lose its geometry and it will act like a jelly. Now let's make the spear smooth. Go to modifier. Add a modifier called Subsurf Modifier and increase it to 3 or 4. And right click on Sphere and click on Shade Auto Smooth. Let's add a HDRI to our viewport. So go to Shading and set it to World. Now, as you can see, there are two nodes. Now, delete the background node. Add a environment texture and select the SDRI. The link of the SDRI will be in the description. Now connect the color to the surface, then go to render mode and set the render engine as cycles. Now our viewport will look like this with the SGRI. Now let's add a shader to the sphere. Select the object. Click on new. Now set your base color as you prefer. I will keep it green. And set the roughness to zero. Now 
instead the transmission to 1 and Iowa to 1.7. Now our object will look like a spherical glass. Now let's add a shader to the plane. Click on new and set the roughness to 0 and transmission to 1. Now you can see it looks like a glass table. Now let's add a camera. Now find a good view on your viewport. Now press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 or go to view, align view, align active camera to view. Once you've done that, now go to view, navigation, walk navigation. Now you can use your WASD keys to move your camera. Now let's animate this. So move this up and go to physics properties. And under simulation you can see speed. Now just look for the frame where the sphere collides. Pause just before the collision. Now add a keyframe and move 3 or 4 frames forward and set the speed to 0.2 add a keyframe. Now you can observe the object will fall at normal speed and just before the collision it becomes slow. Now let's animate our camera. Select the camera. Go to object data properties. Now find the same key frame before the collision and set the focal length to 20 mm. Now move 3 or 4 frames forward. And set the focal length to 50. And add a key frame. Now all there is left to do is to render this as a video file. So go to output properties, select the file location and the file format as MPEG video and encoding as MPEG4. Now just bake the simulation and press render animation and your animation will be rendered. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for things for videos like this. Thanks for watching guys.